sure that the hurdle is under your body before you put your foot down. Same thing, make sure that your body is over the white before you put your foot down. There you go. Don't reach for it. Be patient. Get over the top of it. as when it comes to jumping just because the runway prepares you for how you're gonna jump in like the sky and the sand and stuff so just warm, working on my form and my speed to transfer over to jumps and I just want to get faster. I watched her block start and I started trying to do things with her out of the blocks and she pushes out of her blocks the way she pushes out of the back of the runway. She's kind of box stepping going from side to side. That's what we have to correct when she's running. And ultimately we will, when we correct that when she's running, it's gonna correct her on the runway as well because she needs to run straight down the runway. And she's still going back and forth because that's where her power she feels like is coming from. And so once we straighten her out and get her to have a turnover, and because she's very powerful, she's got the power. We just need her to get the putting her feet down and being fast. Well, you just want to be tall whenever you're on the runway. You don't want to have like your legs behind you. You kind of want to have them in front of you. So everything we're doing here at practice is just going to transfer over to at meets and when we perform. All the little things just come together, especially whenever you're tired. That's the first thing to go is your form. And so you just want to think about it now at practice while you are tired working on your form. So whenever you're at a meet and you're tired, it's just natural. Listen, the cones aren't like the tape. The tape on that side, when y'all did these, they're really close together and it was a high knee. And then when you got to that last one, you took off and ran the rest of it, right? This one, they're gradually, you're getting a little stridely, but it's gradual. Okay, you still need to push off, you still need to drive out, you still need to do everything the way you always do, but they're shortened so that I'm, I'm making you put your foot down underneath you. Concentration runs, I think when they do it now, they understand more what I'm talking about on concentration. You have to think about what you're doing. You have to think about your loaded leg start. You have to think about low heel recovery out of that first step. You have to think about your power off the ground is what creates the knee lift that creates eventually your stride length, but to be patient in getting that. When you step out, I want low heel recovery, meaning that first step shouldn't come up and out. That first step should come here, okay? But I want it to be quick. So when you're driving out, the reason some of you get to a certain place and you hit it all the time or you step on the cone, it's usually not because you're overstriding or you're reaching. Mm -hmm. You're naturally increasing your stride and not everybody's just gonna be the same. Just keep putting your foot down. It doesn't matter if the cone's there. Use your arms, big arms, Mackenzie. Bigger arms, Mackenzie. Your legs do what your arms do. You have to use your arms. Good, Morgan. Don't point that toe. Don't run on your toes. Good, Aaron. Maintain the speed off the last cone. A lot of kids have been told over the years to increase their stride length. Well, if you just tell a kid that, they increase their stride length by pointing their toe and reaching out. That causes hamstring injuries and it also slows them down. So I try to explain to them, if you're trying to jump up to shoot a layup, do you want to do you want to get high by reaching way out here or do you want to put your foot up under you to get you power? Power is speed. 
So I'm trying to get them to be more powerful off the ground, and that in turn will create that knee drive and eventually create stride length. I don't know, I feel good. It's just I have to really think about it whenever I'm going over the cones. Yeah. Oh, how important is it to focus on these things that the coach is telling you to focus on? It's really important because it can make a difference between running like the 25, the 24, and the 23, because each step counts, each step matters, and how you take your step is really gonna make a difference in your race. Yeah, we're just all really hungry, especially from the past two years. We got third, and then last year we got second, so this year we really wanna win. Thank you.